What a person can accomplish in 25 years was wrongly taken from Martin Santillan. In 1997, a man named Damon Whitman was shot and killed in Deep Ellum. Santillan was arrested, charged with capital murder, and in 1998 convicted to a life sentence. This is cause number F97. He was 23, stayed in prison for 25 years, and today he is 49. They didn't investigate it. They just looked for a way to get around it. Centurion Ministries, an innocence organization, says the case was based on one eyewitness who chose him during a photo lineup with no evidence. Thank you. After a quarter century, it is now on record. Martin Santillan is an innocent man. I would also like to apologize to you on behalf of Dallas County, the state of Texas, and the entire judicial system. I wish you well and best of luck in your future. Oh, I've always, yes. We were always supporting him the whole time. Santian's older sister, Maite Cantu, always knew the truth. You know, at one point, we didn't realize that it would happen. And his younger brother, Pedro Martinez. So it is difficult, you know, seeing him after so long. Never wants to let go. That's just something you can't hold back. New DNA testing on a bloody Dallas Stars jersey not only proves Santian's innocence, but another man recently arrested in Colorado will face trial. And it kind of tempers the joy in some sense of, of knowing somebody spent all that time in jail. In prison, Martin Santillan couldn't say goodbye to his mother. He wasn't able to be here when two of my family members passed away. That was the hardest. While he can't get back the time he lost, Santillan, free and innocent, will cherish the time he still has. In Dallas, I'm Tiffany Liu. Mr. Santillan is the 43rd exoneration in Dallas County since 2001 when a post-conviction DNA statute went into effect. The Texas Comptroller's Office says the state pays exonerees $80,000 for each year they spent behind bars. That works out to about $2 million for Mr. Santillan.